Monitoring soil moisture is one of the best methods for irrigation scheduling because almost all water used by plants come from the soil. Therefore, understanding what is going on on the ground is the ultimate approach for irrigation scheduling. Several devices can be used to monitor the soil moisture content and assist in running your irrigation system. Examples include TDR type soil moisture sensors, metric blocks or tensiometers. In this video, we discuss using soil tensiometers to schedule your irrigation system. A soil moisture tensiometer is a device used to measure the soil metric potential, which is basically the amount of vacuum that tree roots are applying to absorb water from the soil. A tensiometer has three basic parts. A ceramic tip that is in contact with the soil, a long plastic tube, and a vacuum gauge. The vacuum gauge is graduated from 0 to 100 centibars. The higher the reading, the drier the soil, and the harder your trees are working to absorb water. Readings below 5 centibars correspond to saturated conditions. If readings are between 5 and 20, the soil is actually at field capacity. This is the optimal range for plants. So, do not irrigate in this range because you'll be wasting water and could promote leaching of nutrients. When your readings are between 20 and 40 centibars, depending on the soil type, tree age and size, you should run your system until your readings go below your predetermined threshold. Tensiometers are sold as 12 inches, 18 inches or 24 inches and the one you elect to use in your system will depend on your soil depth and the age and size of your trees. We recommend using 12 inch tensiometers for fields with trees that are less than 5 feet tall. Your tensiometer devices should be placed in the drier spots in your fields and you should install several to make sure that the entire field is well covered. Ideally, you should install tensiometers at the beginning of the growing season, shortly after bird break, but surely before the beginning of your irrigation season. I recommend putting them in the ground sometime in early May, after you are done with your planting operations and first pesticide applications. Good irrigation scheduling starts with good record keeping. Each irrigator should create a record book for tensiometers and record the reading every day. The reading should be performed at the same time of the day if possible. Information on how to install and service tensiometers will normally be provided by your vendor. However, that information is also contained in the extension bulletin E2977 published by MSU Extension. Email us or go to your local MSU extension office to get a copy of this bulletin.